I'm Judy Vitale with ReadTheStars.com here with your forecast for fall. Woo! Well, yeah, it's happening, folks. Fall is arriving Friday, September 23rd, overnight while you're sleeping. The Earth will reach the point of equinox, meaning that an equal portion of the north and, and south will be facing the sun just as it gets ready to face the southern hemisphere more toward the sun and its journey around. So um, this is what's going to happen winter for those of us in the northern hemisphere and summer for those of you in the southern in summer southern hemisphere. Can I come? Um, anyway, we greet fall with a lot of anticipation because there's just so much going on in all of our lives in a normal year. This year is a little bit more accelerated than other years, in case you haven't already noticed. When Pluto went direct on September 16th, everything just started to go really, really fast. And of course, we have Uranus and Aries. Uh, we have Neptune flirting with changing signs back and forth between Aquarius and Pisces. It will stay in Aquarius for all of the fall, by the way. So those of you who are hoping that it will move on to Pisces, got to wait until February, okay? But that will be here as soon as we know it anyhow because this fall is going to zip right by. Now, here are some important things for you to know about. We're going to have Mercury retrograde. Isn't that a happy moment? And that's going to be uh, from November 24th until December 13th. Oh my goodness, if you have things to do around the holiday season, get them done around those dates. Because during that time, travel, communication, purchases, all the things that require one thing to connect with another, not going to be so good. So, um, it will be in Sagittarius on top of that. So, heavy on the travel difficulties because Sagittarius loves to travel. Mercury is just going to say, ha, let's see what you do and how creative you get when I take away the facility for traveling. So, that's interesting. Um, Mars is going to go retrograde from November 10th until January 24th, and that's going to be very interesting. Mars will be retrograde in Virgo, and it's, um, going to be a lot about how we do tasks one step at a time, because we really have got to step up our efficiency in order to keep up with the pace of the planets. Um, Jupiter will come out of its retrograde period on December 25th, Christmas Day, so that will be nice to have that spirit of generosity kind of back out in the forefront of everything. And the other date that we should probably watch is December the 10th. On December the 10th, we have an eclipse of the moon, which will be taking place in the sign of Gemini and also Sagittarius, because, you know, it's an, an opposition thing, so Gemini is where the moon is, but the sun will be in Sagittarius. And... Our friend Uranus is going to come out of its retrograde period right on the Aries axis and probably set off a whole lot of stuff. Now, back to the fall equinox and what's going on in the chart. I really don't see anything that's super unexpected or crazy about the fall equinox. I do see as the sun, by the way, comes to that Aries axis because it's in one of the cardinal signs, Libra. It's a cardinal sign, the beginning of the season. We're going to see a little bit of an uptick in the um, activity involving, oh, Russia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, the Arabian Peninsula, and right down that, lat that longitude right there. So, huh, you know, I think the Arab Spring could soon become the Arab Fall, for one thing, and we're also going to see an increased... Um, amount of information coming out about the relationship between Russia and the Middle East. So that's going to be interesting. The financial situation also not doing so well. Um, and one other thing that will happen, Neptune will go stationary direct on November 9th. All this will be written on the site for those of you who are getting this through YouTube and um, along with lots of other stuff, including daily horoscopes, weekly horoscopes, monthly horoscopes. I like to let you get the view of everything from different chunks of time so that you can plan out your activities in the best way possible using astrology. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, etc. for me, please send them to Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.